Hello, my name is Jeremy Dewey. I'm the Director of Development at COCA, the Center of Creative Arts, and I'm a friend and fan of the Brown School. It is my great honor to introduce today an icon of American music, Nina Simone. Known for her unmistakable rich voice, Nina Simone above all prized her skills as an accomplished pianist. In fact, she originally set her sights on a career in classical piano, even attending the Juilliard School in New York. Her roots were in North Carolina. Nina Simone was born Eunice Kathleen Wyman on February 21st, 1933, the sixth of eight children. She began piano studies at an early age. At her first public recital at age 12, her parents were escorted to the back of the hall after finding seats in the front row, eager to watch their daughter perform. Nina refused to play until her parents were allowed to return to the front. And this perhaps was the launch of her work in the civil rights movement. As an adult, she took on the name Nina Simone when she played gigs in Atlantic City nightclubs. The name was intended to be a disguise as she didn't want her family to know that she was playing jazz, which many at the time referred to as the devil's music. It was during her Atlantic City days when she was encouraged by promoters to sing as well as play the piano. Her debut album, Little Girl Blue, was released in 1959, and after its success, she became a regular at the jazz clubs in New York City. She became a prolific composer and arranger, mastering and blending musical styles. Her recording of Gershwin's I Love You Porgy became a top 10 hit in 1959. Miss Simone's black heritage inspired her music. In Mississippi Goddamn, she sang of racial injustice following the horrific murder of Medgar Evers and the bombing of the 16, 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham. That song was boycotted on many Southern radio stations. And one of her signature arrangements was, I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. And in response to the question, what is freedom for you? During a film and interview, she responded, I'll tell you what freedom is to me, no fear. I mean, really, no fear. If I could have that half of my life, no fear. Perhaps my favorite Nina Simone song is To Be Young, Gifted, and Black, which was inspired by the title of a play by the essential 20th century Black playwright Lorraine Hansberry. The anthem inspires and reminds us of the promise of young people of color, even in the face of adversity and struggle. Miss Simone received four Grammy nominations, two during her lifetime. In both instances, she lost to another icon, Aretha Franklin, who later in life would win another Grammy for her cover of To Be Young, Gifted, and Black. Nina Simone passed in her sleep in 2003, but her legacy and influence reverberate to this day. She's truly one of the most important Black artists of the 20th century. Her music can be found on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, everywhere. Join me in listening to some Nina Simone today.